All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, we're here with LLJ Customs today. We're going to teach you about how to use our 1418 uh, Silverado Sierra. Really works on any model, 2014 to 2018. Um, you can do Tahoe, Suburban, anything that uses this green plug to go into the stereo. Um, we haven't had any vehicle come in yet that we that this hasn't worked on, so I feel pretty confident about 14 to 18. Uh, so we'll just get right into this. Um, we're going to have to remove the decoration bezel here around the radio. I've already done that. Um, it's pretty simple. You grab a pry tool. You can get these on Amazon. They're generally about five bucks. You get four or five of them. Um, you can get a kit. The kit, I think, is like 10 bucks. Um, so you have a couple of clips that hold this in place. Um, GM did a really good job um, as far as it not rattling, making any noises. Unfortunately, there are these thinner areas that have a clip here and here. So you want to be careful not to pull on them because you will break them. So to start, you want to pry here. You want to pry here. You have two clips here, you have one clip here, one clip here, and then you have two clips down here. So you want to start here, you have a clip here. Um, so I've already done this, so we're just going to go ahead and take it off. Keep in mind that some vehicles have the heated seat buttons here, um, and then some of the uh, LT2 models have the wiring in the back. So don't don't rip this off, you'll, you'll mess up your wiring. So we're going to go ahead and pull this here. You can see that we have these. These are just, you just press in the tab and it pulls up. Same thing here, you can move that put that down here um, the other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a drill with a seven millimeter socket um, I prefer a step bit uh, sorry or a, uh, a step motor on it so that I don't overpower or strip the, the screws you have four screws you're gonna have one here one here here and down here so we're gonna go ahead and remove those this install generally takes about Depending on your level of understanding, it's going to take you anywhere from 10 to maybe 30 minutes uh, to set up our harness. The stereo is also um, held on by two pressure tabs, uh, which are here and here. So once you get it out, you just go ahead and grab back here. There's room and in this corner and you just pull on it and it comes out. Uh, there's no need to disconnect any of this. Um, if you're gonna leave it hanging for a while, I would disconnect it just so you're not putting pressure on these joints. But for what we're doing, it's pretty cut and dry. It's gonna be up here is where we wanna mess in. This is a stereo module. Uh, this is your OnStar. This is your CD, DVD player. So all we're doing right here is we're looking at this green plug here. Uh, make sure your ignition is off, obviously. Make sure your battery negative cable is off. Um, you don't wanna have to lose any memory that you've set up on your computer. Uh, so we're going to get right into this. Um, this plug, um, the GM Green uh, C1 connector, uh, only does the speakers. You have uh, left front, right front, rear right, rear front, and then you have uh, 12 uh, accessory, and then obviously your ground. Your C2 plug goes into your navigation. If you have it, you'll have these populated up here. Um, this vehicle doesn't come with the nav, so we don't have it. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and jump in here. We're going to unplug this. We're gonna plug in our harness. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that our remote cable is out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and plug right into it. Clips right in, everything's good to go. Um, you can pretty much grab this and tuck it away. We're not going to yet, uh, cause we still have to connect the LP72. The LP72 is a high level, low level. Um, basically it's a conversion module that PAC makes. Um, it's great. It's awesome. I love these things. They come in two and four channel. They also come in the LP 7-2R, uh, um, which has the amp gain remote built into it. So if you want um, to have an amp gain remote, if the amp you buy for your vehicle doesn't come with a remote, it comes with it. Uh, and we sell them on our website at LLJCustoms.com. So we plug that in. Uh, the light is off. We're going to go ahead and set our gain control all the way to the bottom. It comes with the small screwdriver. This is a personal one that I, I prefer. So you're going to go ahead and set that all the way down before you plug anything in. Um, and then once you have all this set up, you're going to go out. You're going to go ahead and hook your battery back in. Um, and then you can go ahead and turn your car on. So you don't have to turn it on all the way. Uh, you can go ahead and put in accessory one. Um, and you will see that this light now comes back on. So you can see that the light now is on. Um, 
and that means that you're pretty much good to go. You're gonna plug in your RCAs here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because it's annoying. Um, you're gonna go ahead and plug in your RCAs here and you're gonna run them to wherever your amp is. Uh, we provide this harness in multiple ways. This has a remote out, so to turn on your amp, it comes uh, obviously in our abrasive resistant loom. We offer this in multiple colors. Um, some people like it, some people don't. Um, we obviously wrap our harnesses, our harnesses in Tessa tape. Um, automotive, you know, you can see it matches the uh, OEM harnesses. Uh, we do offer to either run this cable 20 feet so you can place this back by your amp so you can mess with your gains. Um, or you can store it here. This all hides in the side. Just like that. And then you can place this either up here. Just like that. And you have your RCAs. Or you can hide it down here. And this all does tuck away. I mean, obviously right now it looks kind of messy, but once you have your wires ran and then it just, you grab your, your stereo back in there and you clip it back on there and you apply your bezel and you're done. You run your RCAs to the back, wherever you want your subwoofer underneath your seat. Um, we offer in 20 feet and 12 feet. Um, we have shorter RCAs if you want. We carry Stinger. We offer these packs fully um, on our site. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, if you if you have a vehicle that you want to get this if you want to get this done plug and play, um, let us know. Reach out. Send us an email at lljcustoms18 at gmail.com. Um, we do we do recommend that you do plug and play when it comes to messing with your factory equipment, for the simple fact that you don't want to void your warranties. Um, oh man, this plug just gets in there. There we go. So you definitely do want to do something like this, especially if let's say your stereo starts acting up, you want to be able to just do this real quick, um, take it to the dealer, and then they can't give you an excuse of, oh, you were cutting wires and, you know, tapping into them and whatnot. So you definitely don't want to have a problem, especially with how expensive these vehicles are. Um, if you have any questions, again, reach out to us. Uh, give us a call, 602-320-7004. Uh, we're here to help. Um, again, thanks for watching. Have a good day.